Humankind has a long history of living with water. Although many lessons have been learned, new challenges arise. Overcrowded cities, unpredictable climate conditions, increasing pollution and aging infrastructure are putting increasing pressures on daily life. There is a need to change the way in which cities manage their water resources, because current practices are not sustainable. Introducing sustainable practices requires new thinking, and new thinking is the living motto of SWITCH, a project supported by the European Commission. SWITCH is a global effort of 33 partners from 15 countries to bring the city of the future one step closer. In the city of the future, 20 to 30 years from now, people learn to live with water by giving water more space in the city and by turning threats into opportunities. The city of the future is going to be quite beautiful. Water will be much more visible than it is now with lakes and canals. Roofs will be green and every drop of water will be treated as precious. Achieving a water sustainable city of the future is not an easy task. The SWITCH recipe is a combination of scientific research, innovative technologies and demonstrations in several cities. A solid and flowing interaction between scientists and cities is essential to achieving the city of the future, as cities need science to provide solutions, and science needs cities to implement the proposed solutions. Within SWITCH, we're developing lots of new innovations in the area of urban water. But to try and ensure that these innovations are really taken up, that they really make an impact on the ground, it's very important to work with the cities. SWITCH, along with other large programs such as the UNESCO IHP's Urban Water Program, are working very closely with cities from the outset, both in developing the research ideas, undertaking the research, and then testing the efficacy of that research. I'm convinced that by working with the cities in such close partnership will ensure the maximum uptake of the innovations we're developing. Switch. Ten cities around the globe are taking the lead in shaping the city of the future through the demonstration of sustainable practices. One of these cities is Beijing, the capital of China, a very water-scarce city. It must provide water to 15 million inhabitants and an increasing number of industries. The current available water resources will not meet the increasing water demand due to fast-growing population and decreasing groundwater resources. Half of the water available for the city is used in agriculture. In order to optimize the use of water in urban agriculture, Beijing is working on improved rainwater harvesting, efficient irrigation techniques and recycling of wastewater. One of the farms applying and testing these techniques is the cooperative in the Huariao district. Tungwa 目前那个水呢，集过来以后，在咱们这个窖的四周周围，然后它利用这个水的冷，将咱们这个集这个窖内的温度降下来，然后有利于咱们种蘑菇，然后咱们这个湿度都非常适中。嗯，这样呢，就
first of all, is we uh, help the farmers or to identify the issues. Then we try to provide them the solution, to find the solution for them. Then another role so we play is just like a middleman of introducing some new or best practice from other part of the world to them. So the, the last role is the consultant to the government. So we can form a, a new policies in the future. So I think that's the four roles we can play in the, for the research in this uh, project. So it means that the work of the project is always from the 80s and 80s. 是北京市政府和市民所共同推进的这么一件重要的一个社会事务的，因为从目前的这个北京市的这个用水水平和日本、还有美国以及就是说其他的一些比较发达的国家相比较，在结构上已经逐步的趋同，所以从这个意义上来讲，呃，未来的前景应该就是说是比较乐观的那。Accra, the capital of Ghana, is another committed switch city. Accra has a current population of about 2 million people. More than 50% of the population does not have connections to the water supply network. People in Accra receive water supply from secondary sources, such as water tank operators, often at exorbitant prices. Poor sanitation and water pollution are the most burning problems, needing urgent and sustainable solutions. For water supply, we are looking at alternative sources of supply in terms of possibly rainwater harvesting, but this would fall into the larger context of demand management for the city. For waste um, treatment, we are talking of wastewater reuse. So in that case, you don't necessarily have to use treated water to be watering your lawns, but possibly you could treat your grey water and reuse it in the fields. These are examples that we are looking at. We are looking at uh, sanitation and then composting in terms of using the products of sanitation for urban agriculture. Poor sanitation is affecting urban agriculture. There are 1,000 farmers that rely on water from streams and rivers for irrigating their crops. This water is polluted by waste that fails to reach the overloaded treatment plants. This poses a serious health risk for the population. Efforts focus on reducing this health risk. We are trying to apply a range of low-cost options. These are improved irrigation, safer irrigation practices, and this concerns also on-farm treatment. So what the wastewater treatment plants can't do or are too expensive, we can actually do on-farm for the purpose of irrigation. And this concerns what Switch tries to test. On-farm treatment ponds, small ponds, where pathogens can be uh, killed by the sunlight, where pathogens can go down into the sediment. So if you fetch only at the surface of the ponds, you might get uh, much lower pathogens into your watering cans. The city is also working on the sources of pollution in order to reduce waste, remove pressure from the sewerage system and treatment plants, and reduce costs. One of the solutions being studied is the use of eco-toilets. If they prove efficient in Accra, several will be installed in public toilets, which are used by one-third of the city population. Well, in terms of eco-toilets, um, we are looking at a reduced use of water. So that is definitely important because we reduce the volume of water needed to manage the toilet. We are also talking about the possible reuse of the uh, waste from this toilet for agriculture. And I think there are examples in Valley View University and that, those are good examples that the city can learn from.